over the past decade, autism is becoming more widely known. Our voices are starting to be heard, media is starting to see it as mainstream, and information is starting to become more public knowledge than ever before. The use of functioning labels, identity first versus person first language, and correct terminology is all becoming more understood, more mainstream, and correct terminology is becoming more understood, more mainstream, and more correct. However, within all of this new information, however good it may be, it is really important that we do discuss one of the aspects of autism which is quite controversial and quite dark, and something which a lot of us still identify with, something that I still identified with up until only a few weeks ago. So, let's talk about Asperger's. Just be me. Asperger's is a name, an identity, a diagnosis, even a culture within the autism community. One that many of us were professionally diagnosed with and spent the majority of our lives identifying with. But Asperger's is no longer listed as part of the DSM-5 and is merely stated as autism. So why is that? Why should we not use the word Asperger's anymore? Why is the autism community so actively denying the label of Asperger's and why is it important that we all start to do the same? Among many, many reasons, the first and foremost reason Hans Asperger, the inventor of Asperger's syndrome, was a Nazi who killed disabled children. Let's discuss Hans Asperger. <laughs> oh, all right, good. Let's let's do it. Yes. Okay. Hans Asperger was an Austrian pediatrician recognized as a pioneer in the study of autism. Some he was even named a hero rescuing autistic children from the Nazi euthanasia program. He did this by emphasizing autistic children's intelligence levels, deeming these children as having Asperger's. However, after an eight-year study, which came out in 2018, it is now proven and indisputable that Hans Asperger assisted in the murder of disabled children. Nazi ideology shaped the research around Asperger's syndrome, and Hans Asperger was not only complicit, but assisted in the euthanasia of disabled children during World War II. Hans Asperger labeled autism as a type of schizophrenic and psychopathic disorder. However, the term Asperger's that he coined was was based on the idea that some of these people had a higher IQ and were therefore deemed worthy of survival. Those that he didn't see worth in, those that he described as being unsocial, undesirable and low functioning would be sent to a place called Spiegelgrund. This was a place that he both physically spoke about and published studies and books on. Here, these children that he didn't deem worthy of survival were experimented on, starved and murdered. Nearly 800 children were murdered under the hands of Hans Asperger. So why are we labeling an entire group of people based off of a man who did research that is completely irrelevant to the same thing? Asperger's as we know it today also has absolutely no correlation to Hans Asperger who created the original terminology. In fact, our entire understanding of it is entirely different to his own research. Why are we labeling people after a man who assisted in the euthanasia of nearly 800 children? None of this makes sense to me. For my entire life, I've been advocating for autistic people, advocating for myself, advocating for other people with disabilities, and the fact that a group of these people are still being called a name that is from a Nazi doesn't sit right with me. What sort of social impact is that insinuating that this person has on us? And what can we start using instead? How do we differentiate different types of autism if not like this? This then brings up the issue of functioning labels, something which most experts now deem as the next step forward. But this only continues to segregate us and comply with Asperger's ideologies. You know, those that the system deems to be high functioning being worthy of survival, and those that the system deems to be not high functioning being, well, I've already created an entire video around this topic and if you do want to learn more about functioning labels and why we need to steer clear of them, you can go and watch that video now. However, in short, functioning labels and the term Asperger's are directly correlated. Therefore, if you were against one, as in if you were against a Nazi who killed disabled children, you therefore should also be against functioning labels. The term is complete and utter hogwash and holds no scientific value behind it. Not only can autistic person's level of functioning fluctuate, but it can also be dependent on environmental factors. Therefore, functioning labels do not exist. They cannot exist. It also does not help us as autistic people, it helps the viewer. It gives other people reasonings to segregate, identify, and ultimately harm us without actually giving the autistic people themselves any help. Functioning labels, whether you want to call that Asperger's syndrome or high functioning, basically gives people the understanding that is this person capable of capitalistic value or not? Which is not a way that we should be seeing people, autistic or not. While I understand that Asperger's is an identity that a lot of people still cling to, it is really important that we start to take that identity away from us. One of the most important parts about being human is bettering ourselves, both for ourselves, our future, and for society. Clinging on to Nazi terminology that was created for us by a man who had absolutely no intention to help 
help us is not going to be helping our future, our society, or ourselves. I'm saying this as a person who had the term Asperger's as a part of my online identity for nearly eight years. I'm saying this as a person who was not only identified and diagnosed as Asperger's when I was 13 years old, but also decided to use that diagnosis to shape my entire identity. And then when I learned about what the identity was, had an extremely difficult time trying to change that. I'm autistic. Change is hard for me, okay? <laughs> I understand that change is hard. I understand that trying to figure out different diagnoses is hard. And I understand that there is a lot of internalized ableism inside of a lot of different people and thinking that we can identify ourselves as Asperger's or high functioning differentiates us from people that identify as otherwise. It doesn't. It is so incredibly important that we lose this language from our vocabulary and that we stop using it. As everything, it starts with us. It starts with the community. It starts with educating. It starts with listening. It starts with learning. Hans Asperger was an incredibly disgusting human. There is nothing that we should still be taking from him and trying to identify ourselves as something like that is not something that we should have to do. It's not something that which we deserve. We don't deserve to be identified with someone who has done that sort of stuff to other people just like us. If you want to do further research for yourself, there are many, many research papers out there. I will drop links down below so you can find out more about this and come to your own conclusions on your own accord. I did feel like this was an extremely important video to make, especially with these very well-known, very rich white men uh, coming out and saying that they have Asperger's syndrome. Uh, who know what they're doing? They know what they're doing. They're smart human beings. Uh, they didn't say this word by accident. They knew what they meant when they said it. Also with my own history of using the word Asperger's, I want to make sure that everyone knows that I am completely derailed from that and that I have learned and grown and I've made sure to do my research, grow and will continue to grow each and every single day. At the end of the day, change and growth and further research is inevitable. We will always be finding out more things about society and it isn't about our past, but it is about our future and what we choose to do with that information. In these instances, it is also incredibly important to listen to the community. Voices, opinions, attitudes and stories from that community will always, always matter more than anyone outside that community period. Listen to autistic voices, uplift autistic voices, and stop using derogatory words that are going to harm us. If anything that I said in this video was triggering, please have a look down in the links down below. I have listed some helplines down there. I love you guys so incredibly much. Stay kind to yourselves, stay kind to other people, stay hydrated, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye. Just be me.